Hello everyone, welcome to Codely. In this episode, we are going to cover a very important topic in modern programming that is anonymous function, lambda function or closures. They all are same have but known as a different name. So anonymous if somebody call anonymous function or closure don't be confused they are same thing. Okay. So so first let us understand uh, how a function execution works in PHP. Okay. So say function order pizza. Okay. The function to order pizza return your pizza is ready. Okay. What we have done? We just Write a basic function, order pizza, and it is returning pizza run. Okay, let's see and run. Sorry, why did not we? we haven't? Let's see. Now we are going to echo whatever the function is returning to us. And now we are getting your pizza is ready. Okay, so how the execution actually work? So before getting the response, be, before showing the response, uh, PHP uh, scripting language passed through the parser and then compiler. Okay, so parser, parser work is just to check the syntax and the definition coded for this specific language. For example, it's go line by line and word by word. It search F N C T I O N and it's found function. Okay, that's a keyword it has. Then it look for the name. If it doesn't doesn't find the name, it shows some syntax error. Then this parentheses. This are is actually the function invoker. You can say it's invoke the function. Here, if you write the order pizza, it doesn't work. But when you add this parentheses, it's invoke the function. So it is used to invoke the function okay in this way the compiler run now see some example okay let's remove this and write 4 plus 5 and 2 divided by say 5 divided by 3 and what do you think are we going to get some sort of error Let's see. No, no error. Why? Because the syntax is correct. The compiler has no issue. Now come to the anonymous functions. Anonymous functions are the functions having no name. That is why it, it is called anonymous. No name of a function. How we declare that function? Say function and this and this return I am say function execution. So return this now you run this okay say run oh syntax error why we are getting syntax error here is the question okay you wrote the function in this way and there is no syntax error but when you write without name the same function has a error so here is the concept the concept is this anonymous functions are actually function expression uh, uh, this is also expression 
and the that is why in the same way function anonymous function are the expression type of expression so expression always statement ends with the semi column now you run you will not get any error though you are, don't have a uh, echo so no output okay now see the function as a statement you can store in a variable okay let's see uh, if you run if you say where uh, dollar p then what we are going to get will receive a closer okay but not the value why just because it's a expression function expression so always you have to call sorry in this way now we'll see this uh, let's say echo boom yeah we get that see this function anonymous function having no name is actually stored as a variable in a as a value of a variable okay so we can pass this function as a parameter also because we can pass the parameter variables as a parameter so this is the actual the concept now understand the scope how it's actually work let's say we pass a variable we have a variable it is accepting a variable say uh, dollar name say type okay what type of uh, say name sorry name and uh, at the time of calling you just pass name say food leave okay and you just integrate not your name and yes we have the value let's take the situation another situation we have a variable already called uh, say return say second name second say last name okay and the value is mark okay so now you can see I want to take this name also this value also dollar last name okay what do you think what sort of error we are going to get oh yeah this is out of scope okay if you know the php you must have the idea that the function uh, variables are only locals to their, their function okay either we have to pass this value as a parameter or we have no way to get access this but in closer we have a way to use the variables of out of scope here is a way you can define a use keyword and pass the variable you are supposed to use in this closer and now see the output yeah function expression code leave mark okay so now we can have the access to the variable which is not which is not in the scope of this anonymous function so this is actual a closer okay now this can be achieved what is the why we have done so much this can easily achieve let's say this function this function if you pass these two variables in this function 
and say name and say comma and say last name and we can print this directly here why we have done so much work to make this and say echo order feature that's all and we will get the same out and define few arguments for you we haven't passed the name so we have to pass the name say to Okay. Okay, and the second parameter is also required, which is say pass the second parameter, which is pass the parameter, and we got the output. Okay. So what is the need need of uh, doing such so so much of things? So the importance of LMS function will encounter when we look at the callbacks. Okay, callback. What is the callback? Let's see. Okay, <clears throat> now callbacks. How we we'll understood the callback? Let's see. Uh, now we know the how an anonymous function is actually look like and how it's work uh, it's very important so now the callback so we have a function called uh, order pizza okay and we are going to define a type of the feature and second parameter we are going to receive a function okay so in this way uh, what we are going to do, we will write an anonymous function. Uh, we are going to just uh, refactor the things. We have an anonymous function uh, which is not going to use only uh, received type and return. Uh, say Type equals to normal, and then return price of pizza is twenty. Let's see. Okay. okay. Now we know how to pass all this. Um, going now we are going to call this function pizza to make the pizza. Okay. In this function, what we have we can do, we can just simply uh, this function accept two parameters. One is the type, say uh, normal, and another parameter is a function okay so either you can pass this b or you can pass this entire function into this you have the option you have the choice to pass in the any way because you have already learned how to write the closures pass the b okay we are passing b we are not invoking b we are just passing b okay now inside the pizza order okay uh, return your pizza of type dot but type and then we are simply going to involve the call back with but we have to pass the type we receive the type we just have to pass it. okay now see what is the output what what we are expecting the output how is it working we are actually passing a function okay 
and the function order pizza has the responsibility to call this function and execute the operation this is called the callback you just call this okay uh, hello pizza order pizza this is my function now do your work so you call the function okay now see this you run this output your pizza of type normal price of uh, normal price of pizza is 20 dollar see 20 dollar okay so you understood you haven't understood let's let, 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 let once uh, i clear again what we have done here we clear uh, pass our function okay and this function uh, invokes uh, uh, inside the order pizza because i just call the order pizza and pass a function and his hope is to call the callback function and execute the operation okay cool you can do by this or you can just simply pass the entire function inside this parameter it will work the same just show you once again if you are uh, let's see this parameter again uh, now if you didn't see we are getting the same output so no difference uh, okay So now you understood the important of callback function. You may call an anonymous function. For this, the, if, you, if there is a complex operation, means now the dependency is all on this function. If you are willing to manipulate the price, you just have to change here. No need to change the function. You are calling as the way you have to call. You just have to change the uh, anonymous function so this call by function has a great advantage in today's programming language so it is very important i hope you have clear idea about the closer and anonymous functions okay they both are same i told you the lambda is the same so and just i give you one live example you have done a minor amount of uh, programming in web you must have encountered this statement in jquery or uh, that like uh, you just always used to write dollar then the selector say class and then on then click okay and then uh, sorry there is a function on click button and now here you pass the function in this way you used to work here what we are doing the you are you are just invoking on click a closer function here see and it don't have the name in java server it's called anonymous function okay anonymous function you have encountered several times so is this is the uh, example this is the real example where you generally use in many times but may or may not you have uh, tried to figure out what is it is exactly okay so i hope you have understood the closer it is very important uh, in modern frameworks like laravel cake and all frameworks are using this this is a, uh, a very very useful topics next part we'll cover a functional programming in which you will see the uh, the elegant use of this functional expression or say the anonymous or the closer okay if you have any suggestion on this video please write your comments i will try to help you out as per my capacity okay please like share and subscribe thank you